Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. For no more sewing. <laughs> no, anyway. <laughs> okay guys. I've got this sheet mechanism all done. I just wanted to make a quick video and uh, show you how it works. Stand back, I don't want your eye getting poked out. We'll turn her on. Oh yeah, she's ready to roll, baby. Okay. Seven six five. Four three two one. I'm firing out of there, baby. <laughs> so like I said, again, don't get your eye poked out. And so it's kinda of hard you see me trying to poke this in there and put that parachute in there. Okay, I got a new way of folding the chute. Trying to get it small and fat, because that's how the hole is. Okay, you guys watching? Small and fat. And I tell you what helps in this chute deployment, guys. You don't want to wind this string all the way up. You got to let it come out, fire out of there, okay? Right. I got that. And then I see I got, I got, I some big old feet. I put me in a string. Right here to pull that plunger down. See? Pull that plunger down. And it just sits in there. Lift that up. I can let the plunger go. And then shut it on the radio. Bam. And with them alignment pins, guys, it don't have no wiggle to it. Uh, solid ain't gonna come open in flight. I uh, made that hook. I told you guys phenolic in another video, but it's actually G10 and uh, easy to load. Comes firing out of there. Watch it again in case you missed it the first time. Ready? Seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. And see, another thing I like uh, with these servo ones in the spring, they're instant. Where the air cylinder takes a second. You know what I mean? Now, I have full this chute. And so, see, I was just going like this. You can't, you got to fold it in the middle of each piece of parachute and not the where the cord is oh, I, I went to a, a doctor today for that stress test oh man it just killed my hip ah now my dang hips going bad mostly when I'm trying to walk you know, down the block and stuff, and when I was in uh, Arizona. It's gonna bother me. Pulling the strain. The strain shuts the door. servo back on. Bam! Okay guys, that force done. It's ready for some action. I think I'm going to uh, order the paint mask tomorrow. I want to 
the, all the, it'll be real easy, real quick, and uh, I should adjust that big old bad F4 up. I'll tell you what, that's a bad boy. Don't kid yourself. That is one bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said, just gotta see it go, man. That thing rumbles to drown when it goes by. <laughs> It's a beast. I cannot wait to get some flights on it. Pop that bad old shoot out. But guys, I got one more shoot to make. I know I told you I was going to get it back on A4s. I do have a bunch of stuff. A whole nother set primed up, ready to roll. And uh, I got one more shoot to make. For Mr. Joe Grice. Yes, sir. <laughs> I got all the stuff today. He wants a yellow, a big one. He wants a yellow. Uh, it's going to be about 50 to. Uh, okay, here's the deal, guys. It needs to be 36 inches opened. Okay, now, uh, according to my calculations, that's going to be about a 55-inch shoot. Uh, if anyone out there wants to check my math on that, <laughs> it's more than welcome. But I can go up to 60 inches with this material I've got right here. And... Uh, it's all going to be one color, so I don't have to do all this, you know, stitching it up like that. But uh, it's going to have four slits in it. Now, and a, a 28 stringer, man. Uh, I got 10 rolls of yellow cord. And I'm going to use this uh, stitching tape. I ordered two rolls, and I bought two more today. They had it local. It washes away. It's a quarter inch, so I ought to be able to get a really, really, really nice uh, seam or hems. I mean, uh, a couple rolls of yellow thread. And a new cutting wheel for my deal. I hit a razor blade. I mean, not a razor blade. There was a safety pin on my cutting wheel, and I went across it. And it so now every eight inches, you got it. Don't cut through. I seen a. They had a sharpening wheel at a Joann's. I went there today. And they actually had a wheel. It was like 22 bucks. I'm going to buy one, but it sharpens these. I'm going to buy one next time I go in there, but this is all the money I had. So I've got four rolls of this. If that ain't enough, they got more. It's going to be a 28 stringer. If this ain't enough ribbon, they got more. They had a whole roll of this stuff, but it was 3 sixteenths. And it was $4 for 300 yards. Big old roll of it, but I like this eighth inch a lot better. And these are 50 cents a roll, but they're only uh, 10 yards. That's 30 feet, but when you're talking a six foot shoot, 28 string, that's not very much. I know it's going to take five or six rolls, but at 50 cents a roll, I just, you know, got five dollars worth. But shoot all this stuff. About 50 bucks and uh, and uh, two yards of cloth or ripstop and uh, got one more sheet to make but it's going to go fast guys and I'm going to be back on this A4 stuff uh, I just it's been killing me to have that F4 without a shoot. Couldn't afford to buy one. So what do we do? We make it, baby. <laughs> That's how us poor guys do it. 
to buy a sewing machine for 60 bucks. I invested about $100. And I still got a couple shoots left, guys. I got a couple not decent shoots. Uh, if anyone needs one, give me a holler. Uh, I'll ship it out tomorrow. And uh, F4 is ready for action. The A4 is in the trailer ready for action. I just need to get out. <laughs> But until then, I gotta recover from the stress test. <laughs> Recoup. But we'll get out there someday soon, I hope. Until then, we'll see you right back here in the shop. You guys wanna see me make Joe shoot? Yes or no? Are you done with the sewing videos? Let me know. See you back in the shop. <laughs>